Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is another of your classes from the Marvel Condemarine English School. And today we are going to present um, the simple present tense, which is something that is quite uh, difficult for some people. Um, let's begin. Simple present tense, do and does. Esto es lo que representa al tiempo verbal. Tenemos las preguntas que se llaman WH, preguntas y respuestas, question and answer. Las WH son estas. We have what, qué, where, dónde, when, cuándo, how, cómo, who, quién, which, cuál o cuáles, and why, por qué. These are called the WH questions. Now, the answers. We have qu uh, questions like this. Where do you live? Que significa donde vive. And this has an order. Tiene un orden. WH, then auxiliary verb. Then we have the subject here. Then we have the main verb and sometimes the rest of the sentence. Here we have the question, and here we have the possible answer. Where do you live? I live in Puerto Montt. This sentence also has an order. We have the subject, the main verb, and from here on, the rest of the sentence. However, when we answer with the third person singular like this, that is to say he, she, and it, the verb suffers uh, some modifications. For example, where does Mr. Leonardo Farkas live? Which means, donde vive Leonardo Farkas? He lives in the U.S. Él vive en los Estados Unidos, the United States. As he is a third person from singular, the verb changes. And in this case, it takes an S ending. Now, how to know about this? We have certain rules to apply to the verbs. The rules, here are the rules. Rules. Rule number one, a todos los verbos terminados en S, Z, X, CH o SH, se le agrega la terminación S. Example, Pedrito watch, watches, TV at night. As the verb ended in CH, like this, it has to take the, the ending ES, watches. A todos los verbos terminados en Y, pero precedidos de consonante, toman la terminación IES. Example, Constanza studies every day. Remember that study ended originally in Y, but now, as it is, um, as it is um, applied the rule, you change this into that, okay? That is the second rule. The third rule is not properly a rule, it is the exceptions. These verbs, go, have, and do, changes for the third person into goes, has, and does. Finally, we have the fourth and last rule, which says that a todos los demás verbos solo se le agrega la terminación S. Well, this is the end of our class of today. We hope to have enjoyed that and you can review this class in our page. Thank you very much and goodbye.